you know, Arukenimon, I really don't even know why you wasted your time. Or more specifically, my time. You quite simply never stood a chance. Get her, Greymon. And there you have it. Crit totally mattered, 100%. I'm a gamer. That was a lot more experience than I was expecting. Maybe I should have gotten Guillaumon first. Oh, well. Oh, no, I hate you. Hey, same. The coolest of all trophies. All right, bud, let's get Guillaumon in here. On a scale of one to 10, how dog is Koji? He's like a five because the other five is cat. He is, he is a cat-like dog. He's probably six to four, actually. Six dog, four cat. I got a new trait. All right, Growlmon, which I must have also gotten Guillemon for. <laughs> Level 21 and 105 attack. Mm, 35 attack in in 20 levels could be a little troublesome, but we have the log training thing if we need it. How close are you to becoming ultimate? Very awesome. We will at least have Metal Greymon for the Spinomon fight, which is good. Do I want to go to Thriller Ruins right now and grind out to Piermon Encounters? Probably. But also... If I get ultimate level Digimon and level them up a little bit... Because here's the thing, right? I was saying a second ago I want to do the Tapirmon one soon because it's probably a super low level one and thus will be like a pushover. But now that I think about it, it's going to be like a super low level easy one no matter what. Like already, it's probably going to be really easy to do if it's coming from a rookie level Digimon. So I may as well not even care about that. And we should focus on getting whatever the other thing I'm thinking of is. We should focus on uh, getting the next Tamer rank up because then it'll be a lot easier to get to Piermon. Like, way easier. An extra 5% per encounter. I think right now we get 15% per rookie, so we'd get 20%. We'd only need to encounter five of them instead of like seven or eight of them. And I'm pretty sure to Piermon is a low encounter rate already, so. I think that's how we'll do it. Also, I just double checked again and I need a Gomamon as well as a Vikemon, so we actually do need to get another Poyomon to Digivolve into Gomamon, I think. I don't know which one of these Giomon is the one that I need, but I'm just gonna buff you both up. Can you already get the next rank? You can always do the next rank as soon as you got the previous one, but we're too, we're probably too low level right now to do well with it. Okay, well that is definitely not all right, yeah, that's not the Geomon that we're going to use. We will be using the other Geomon. That was atrocious. You made no progress. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, you have higher attack. You're the one who goes back in the party whether you were the Gigimon originally or not. I don't remember. <laughs> Truly the Shikamaru of Giyomans. Incredibly so. The Giyomon with higher attack was not the Gigimon? Well, you know, here we are. It doesn't matter either way because this is the one we're keeping now because it has way higher attack. Oh wait, I need to turn in the thing. 
I was about to go to Thriller Ruins after I just explained why I wasn't going to go to Thriller Ruins right now. I autopilot so hard in this game. I think Digimon World Dawn and Dusk might be the game that I autopilot in the most. I think even I underestimate how much I played these games as a child. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Not you. It's the QB Mon over at the plaza. Hello. Yay, you got back the trophy and medal. Ko, thank you. You're the best. I guess it was my fault for being so beautiful. I'm such a. I pressed X too fast. My bad. Now get your awarded Shine Center. Yeah, whatever. Now here's the real question. Do I go to Loop Swamp for a second to get another Poyomon? Because I need a Gomamon right now? I need a Gomamon and a Guapamon? I think I might. Did you say you also played Championship as a child? I don't think I was a child when I played Championship. When did Digimon World Championship come out? Didn't that game come out in like 2010 or something? I would have been 15. Which, I mean, I, I guess still a child, but when I think of childhood, I think of when I was like 10 or younger. Because that's like when I played Sly Cooper and Dawn and Dusk came out in like 2006. Digimon World Championship release dates? When did this game come out? Oh, it came out in 2008, actually, so it was probably like 13. I played Championship for like an hour when I was a kid, and then, uh... didn't like it from what I remember, but I barely remember it. Sorry, my brain turned off again. I'm I'm having a day. <laughs> I don't know what my deal is today. I need the scan data of another Poyomon. Bum, 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 bum. Loop Swamp. Which Digimon game had the Dark Tyrannomon as a subplot? That was Digimon World DS, the first story game that preceded this one. We could actually use Kamamon for whatever it is I need. Also, I didn't realize that Shogun Gekamon could just spawn, let alone three of them at once. Don't I also need a Shogun Gekamon? I do need a lazy Shogun Gekamon, but you have to complete the Merchant of Death quest before you can do the Shogun Gekamon one, and the Merchant of Death quest, I'm pretty sure, is when you fight Grand Drachmon, so we don't have to worry about it anytime soon. Anyways, it's gonna take me a minute to kill all these guys. Mmm, fiery breath. Holy cow, these are way bulkier than I expected them to be. Not the musical fists! Well, this is gonna be annoying. Maybe I should have just run, actually. But I was thinking, like, oh, dude, three Shogun Gekamon? That'll let me, uh, digivolve Greymon into Metal Greymon which would be pretty useful. If we can just manage to kill one of them, we should be fine. It's just a man- uh, manner. It's just a matter of getting that first KO. Bum, 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 bum. I think we probably will do Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds over the Nexus pretty soon, by the way, chat. We've got the uh, the PS2 Classic thing is happening for PlayStation soon, and I want to... We're gonna play Sly Cooper on Tuesday for sure, because I know that's in it. And then I I don't know what other games will like be available. This is really bad, by the way. In case you're curious, you would crit. So I think what we do here is revive and then have Aquilamon do a 600. Can you die to poison in this game? I actually don't remember. We're about to find out the hard way. The answer is yes, that's annoying. 
very annoying timing. I think doing a Did You Reviver here would actually be a mistake. I think I do a 600T. I accidentally found a mini boss when I came to Loop Swamp. All I wanted was the scan data of a Poyomon of all things. But also getting the scan data of Kamamon will pretty much work just as well because we can degenerate it into Poyomon and then Digivolve it into Gomamon. Our current uh, Poyomon cannot Digivolve into Gomamon without degenerating first, so you know. Kill the Kamamon. Get it out of here. Note to self, Greymon is doing very little damage to these guys, so he's probably the one to be the item boy. Poison Rain, not nearly as good as Chocolate Rain, it turns out. Not nearly as catchy. I'm really gonna hope that this gives Fireman a turn to attack immediately. And by attack, I mean heal. Nice. Perfect, we heal. Getting these three hits in a row is gonna be really annoying, but what are you gonna do? I'm determined to win this now. Power of Chaos games playthrough win. What the heck is Power of Chaos? Never heard of it. Dude, these guys like only have attacks that target three Digimon at once. It's so annoying. How much was Blast Shot doing? Not a whole lot either. They are so bulky. Why are they at the entrance? Oh, that's actually really unlucky. All right, we're gonna we're gonna have to cut our losses and run. I think. If it was two Shogun Gekamon, we'd be fine. But three of them doing triple hit moves every single attack is incredibly annoying. Oh, hope I get away here. Good. Holy cow, why were they... Why is that an early area spawn? That's so weird. That three Shogun Gekamon could show up like that just off the rip. I mean, like, we... They're only spawning there because we beat the boss of that area before, but even then, that's ridiculous. That's the sort of thing that should, like, spawn in the end area after you beat the boss, not at the entryway. Alright, I think we only have to encounter one more Kamamon to convert it, by the way, so that's what we're gonna do. We don't have to bother with Poyomon. We convert the Kamamon, we degenerate the Kamamon into a Poyomon that will then have enough aptitude to become Gomamon. Then our other Poyomon that does not have enough aptitude to become Gomamon will become the new Kamamon. And we will digivolve that into the Goapamon we need. That is my plan. Yo, Seedramon, what's poppin'? You got any Kamamon around here? Got any of those funky little turtle dudes? Another Shogun Gekamon, huh? Gloop Swamp is the worst. What is with these spawn rates? I still really want to get Metal Greymon because he would help a lot right now. I feel like we uh, could really benefit from having ultimates at the moment. And this fight is way more doable because there is only one Shogun Gekamon. So, theoretically, it should be way more doable. Start getting this other weed mon out of here. Keep your dank kush to yourself. I don't do drugs. Sprites in this game are fantastic. They really are. This game has a lot of personality. Ah! That blow was such a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. The Shogun Gekamon have a bunch of multi-hit move or like uh, AoE moves and also inflict poison and or confusion. What an annoying random enemy to be able to encounter. That crit is nice. Heal me up. Not 
about the double wave? How could you? Good crit, good crit. Not the high sonic voice. Are you high from all the weed? Were you were you smoking those weed mons? Shogun Gekamon? Did I accidentally just walk into a drug party? Is that what happened? Alright, Seedramon gets one more attack and then we'll get it out of here. Might be able to kill the Shogun Gekamon before its next turn, but I doubt it. Do the resist downs that show up actually do anything? No, not really. The game is not uh, programmed to actually make it worthwhile. 69, by the way, nice. All right, Seedramon's out of here, that's good. It would be great if you could not hit Greymon here so that I don't have to do a Digi Reviver. I hate you. Yo, we lived on three, gamer! But now I, I have to like kill you before you get another turn, which is looking doable. Is Gatling Punch the play here? I think it might be. Mm. That crit might have actually mattered. Gamer. 340, that is enough for Metal Greymon. Thank goodness. Get me out of here. All my homies hate Loop Swamp. Every last one of them. Let's go get back to full health. Oh wait, the reason I went there wasn't to get my ultimate level. The reason I went there was to find another Kamamon so I could convert it. Whoops, whoopsie. Totally forgot the reason I was there. Let me in, let me in. Let's digivolve you real fast. First ultimate of the playthrough, lads. Get him in here. Kevin, welcome to stream. Team members we've decided on thus far are Valkyrie Mon, Apollo Mon, and Megidra Mon. All right, Metal Greymon will make our lives a little bit easier. He hits very hard and is an ultimate. Oh wow, to get War Greymon, you just need levels, friendship, and having had an Agumon at one point in your life? Weird. You have to get to level 40, and then you need the 140 spirit, which you basically have on lock. It is level 40, right? Yeah, and friendship, which we've got on lock. I don't think we'll get Flaremon before Spinomon, but I think beating Spinomon will probably get us really close or to it. Gatomon. I think I'm just gonna have you go straight to Sylphimon, but I think chat told me the requirements last time. It was like a lot of speed, wasn't it? I don't think you're gonna have enough speed. Will Aquilamon? I mean, I can look at it here. 148, 144. Well, Aquilamon has a little bit more, but I think you're both low. I think chat said it was like 190 for Sylphimon or something like that. Yeah, chat's telling me it's 190 again. I think Aquilamon's stats on average are better than Gatomon's. It doesn't matter though, right? They like average their stats when they fuse, I think. What we need to do is we need to start putting Aquilamon into the farm briefly just to give him speed up. I need to buy a speed up thing to get him to 190, and then he can just over-level. Like, I think he has to be level 39. 36? 36 or 39 in the first place, so. And his aptitude is 49, so we can get him higher than that if we need to. Bigidramon is one of the farm Digimon. We were talking about that earlier. I already have another Geomon in the farm to handle it. 190 speed and 7k bird experience. Oh, I need bird experience? Why did I think that I didn't need bird experience? I thought it was like speed, level, and friendship or something. How much bird experience do the two of you have? 
It averages their stats, right? When they fuse, so I don't... As long as I keep leveling them both up, which I should do anyway, it doesn't matter which one of them has the 7k bird experience, so long as that one also has the 190 speed. Wow, neither of you are even close to 7k bird experience. We're gonna have to fix that. Pallet Amazon will have some birds for us. That's not something we immediately have to worry about, but it's something we're gonna have to worry about kind of soon. It's only base level 35. That's less than I thought. We're gonna have to overlevel a bit to get to that 190 speed anyway, while also training it a bit. Yeah. All right, I need a K-Momon. No Shogun Gekamon, please. 